Hello, this is Jeff at Obedia going to cover how to record on the fly with MIDI and audio. To demonstrate, I'm going to record on the fly using an instrument using the default patch of Alchemy. To make sure you're able to record on the fly, you want to go to your record section here, click and hold, and you'll get your record options. Let's go ahead and visit the recording setting. In general, it shows when beginning count in. So this is our pre-roll into our recording. So we can count in one bar before recording happens or however you would like to deviate this. You can record the pre-roll, although you may not want the pre-roll. If you ever wanted what you played going into your recording, you can record a certain amount of the pre-roll. Now allow tempo change recording. So if you are playing and you wanted to adjust the tempo while you're playing um, or adjust the tempo of your session while you're recording, you can do that as well. And then if you're recording a lot of vocals, you can auto colorize these as done by many dolls by default, where it will go ahead and color code each track differently as you record. So we're gonna exit out of here. Now to demonstrate, I am going to show the keyboard in order to play MIDI on my keyboard. The first option in this is simply just to record. And since we want to punch in, I'm gonna click allow quick punch in. So with the first record option set, again, which is here, that means that when I initiate the recording function, it does not stop until I manually tell it to stop recording. So let's hit the record button and I'm going to record MIDI, okay? If I click on the record button, you see it does not stop the recording process. So I can always keep going and pick up, okay? So this option might be useful if you have a tendency to stop recording before you should, as you cannot stop the recording until you either hit the space bar or hit the stop button. And then here is our recorded piece. Let's go ahead and close this. Now I'm going to back up and we're gonna select the next option, which is record toggle. So record toggle, what that means is we can toggle back and forth between recording. Very popular amongst MIDI and virtual instrument enthusiasts because we're able to set this into record, record our performance, stop at any point, and then always jump back in. And it will pick up from what we left off. Or if we're just consistently playing, as you see, I'm not stopping my play, but anytime I hit record, it will start again. So this is the most popular function when it comes to MIDI playing. Or if you would like to do punching of vocals, this is also a very popular strategy. The next option is to record repeat. So we can create a loop. Now, in order to do this, we must set the record loop. So I'm going to pause this. In order to show the record loop, you must right click on your customized toolbar. So what we're looking for is auto punch. And then we're gonna click OK. So right here, it gives you the icon. And what that icon is, is a bar showing what's to record. And at the beginning, it will start recording. At the end, it will punch out of recording. So we're gonna click where it says auto punch. And we will select an area, which is the red tab or the red boxes that now show up. Notice when I click this, it disappears. So this is our punch in and punch out scenario. If we click on loop here, we can define it to only record between this and then rewind. And because I have loop on, it's gonna loop my recording. Okay, and when I take loop out, you will see it will continue on and not loop but it will automatically punch me out of record like that. So unless I begin recording again, 
This is the only area it captured the recording. I'm going to play, hit record, and it doesn't start recording until this section. So once again, hit play, and I'm going to set it to record, and I'm going to play, and it doesn't play until it gets to this section. And then if I want to loop it, I can set my loop here. And it loops back. So that's how you auto record inside of Logic, whether you want to punch in and punch out manually or have Logic set the boundaries itself. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.